Hey, it's Sizzling Popcorn, and I want to thank uh, Toby Gaming for sending me their uh, Toby Eye Tracker 5. Uh, Toby Eye Tracker 5 is the next generation of head and eye tracking engineered for PC gamers, uh, currently supporting over 160 games ranging from Microsoft Flight Simulator, American Truck Simulator, to Far Cry 6, and uh, Arma 3. And if you don't have the Toby Eye Tracker 5 yet, you can get 5% off with the code SP with a link in the uh, description. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a look at what's inside the box, how to set it up, and then how to install the programs so that it works well for you inside your game. Let's get started. Well, first off, within the box, you've got your uh, eye tracker. You got a USB. The USB is about, about a foot and a half but then it connects to another USB in that's included. So the other USB is about two feet long. You can always get an extension for your USB if uh, your monitor is far from the PC. You also get your flex mount. The reason why it's called a flex mount is that you're able to uh, move this bottom piece forwards and backwards to angle it accordingly. So just in case that you're, you're too low or too high. You also get two magnetic strips. So that you, these are for mounting on a laptop, which you would mount just below the uh, the screen. And then you've got a, uh, a cleaning wipe just to clean the, the surface of where you're gonna mount. Uh, they do use uh, 3M tape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the uh, this flex mount on the bottom of my middle screen I do have four four screens, so we'll triple across, and then one above that's angled. So we're gonna change the camera angle, and we'll get this uh, installed here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the magnetic the uh, magnetic plate is facing forward, and then you're going to put it right here on the bottom, right in the middle of your uh, of your monitor. You want to press and hold on to it for a bit. They do recommend that you wait 24 hours before mounting the uh, eye tracker onto this uh, flex mount. I've connected the USB to the eye tracker and the PC. Now it's time to calibrate the device with the Toby Experience software and drivers that are automatically downloaded for you. Once the USB is connected and Windows recognizes it, you'll then see the Toby Experience window open and the terms and conditions. Once accepted, you'll tell the software where your eye tracker is, and then adjust the lines to the marks on top of your eye tracker. Now it's time to calibrate for your eyes. It'll take you through a couple of exercises so that I can track your head and eye movement. For most supported games, you won't need to download any additional software as there is native support in the game. Now let's head into Microsoft Flight Simulator to do a quick demo. All right, so we're in the Kodiak 100 from SimWorks uh, Studios, and I've got the uh, the uh, eye tracker on. So they told me eye tracker. The only thing you need to do is uh, come up to camera, and then the first one track IR. You want to make sure that that's uh, checked off, and then, but it should already be checked off automatically. But you'll see as I move my head left, look out the left left side, I'm gonna go to the other side, right. I can even like crank my head back and look at the uh, at the cabin and go up. I can go down, then tilt one side to the other. Now I'm gonna look up to the top right corner of my screen, and now to the bottom left. And you see uh, how the camera moves. Well, let's say you wanna look outside, but you don't wanna crank your neck. You can always then change your camera view and then be able to then turn even more. So that way you're not cranking your neck and trying to look at the screen at the same time. And uh, again, so this this works in various modes. So uh, in the interior, exterior, and drone mode. So if I go out, 
This is the exterior mode, so I can take a look all around. And then I'm going to switch to the, this is the drum mode. Uh, right now, there are no settings inside the sim because this came out uh, with uh, Sim Update 7. And uh, there hasn't been any, uh, it, it was just pretty much the, the basic uh, support. So there's no settings to tweak. Uh, but like I said, I've, uh, I've set a button so now I can turn it off. So right now I'm turning my head, but I'm now looking straight because the, the track IR has been turned off. So that button will be uh, in your controls. Velocity one flight. So under camera, uh, so camera, camera mode switches, toggle head tracking, and then you can set a button, whatever button you want. And that, that is a great thing because then, you know, if you want to look off the screen, you don't want your camera all over the place. Uh, so, and in my case, as a streamer, uh, you know, like if I want to look at chat, I can just like click the button. Look at, you know, look over on my side screen, look at chat, come back. Or if I don't want to have the tracking at that point, I can always turn it off. So that it, it's, it's a good thing, good thing to have. But uh, Toby and, uh, is working with Microsoft and, and Asobo to, uh, to bring in some settings so that we can tweak. You don't have to have the eye tracker on. You can have the head tracking, like different settings like that. Uh, one thing that isn't working uh, at this point like th there's no support for is uh moving uh moving in and out or moving uh, side to side like to, to shimmy over that uh, that's not supported but uh that's that's it for the demo uh if you have any questions let me know in the uh in the comment section below but if you do like this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you are new to the channel and you want to see uh, more flying content or other contents in, in other simulators that I use and use uh, Toby Eye Tracker with, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But thanks a lot for watching and happy flying.